Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island. We've just spoken to the voodoo lady who's pretty much laid out the plot of the game and what we've got to do. Um, so we're going to take a look around, we're going to see what she's got in her house and what we can steal, basically. It's a voodoo pin. A voodoo pin. Let's, um, let's take that. What a relief. Ah, well, that helped him out. How cute. A paper voodoo doll. Yeah, can we? I don't need it. No, we don't need it. It's just a toy. Okay, can we take this one? I don't need it. It's just a toy. Let's take this paste. Nice, okay. Anything else? Toy scissors. Maybe we can take those. Hmm. I don't want those dull little scissors. No, okay, we're not going to take those. Um, anything else? There's a gumball machine. Admiral Sweetums Bit O Jerky Bubblegum. Five cents. Uh, I mean, we have the wooden nickels or the bag of nickels, so. Wow, I got a whole pack of gum. Nice, pack of gum. That will do nicely. Um, anything else lying around here? We've got the alligator. I don't think we can go this way, can we? No, doesn't look like it. All right, well, time to head out then. We've got a few things looted from her house, which is always good. Mari, got anything good to say on the way out? I think he wants to be alone right now. All right, bye, Mari. We'll see you later. Right, so uh, we've been here to the swamp. What else have we got? We've got this town here, obviously the fort we've been to. Um, Hot Lava Tube was saying something about... Why are there two feral chickens? Is that a glitch? I'm not sure that's supposed to <laughs> to be mm. there. Mm, no. I might be wrong, but I'm not sure that's supposed to be there. I remember I ran into a glitch last time I played this actually where I pretty much like walked out of the Oh yeah, secret button. This is what Hot Lava Tube was saying anyway about the tower on the bridge. Hmm. Oh. Let's do that again. Can, can we make it do anything? Let's see what happens if we... Wait, is that another chicken up there? Some... Looks like it's moving. Maybe there are meant to be multiple... Oh, there's a glowing ember here. Didn't see that before. It's a glowing ember left over from the battle. Can we... Oh, we can. Oh, nice. Handprints. Those pirates in Danger Cove walk on their hands. Weird. No, I, I think there are meant to be multiple chickens, actually. Untitled composition in gold and diamond. This newest addition to our public works of art was shamefully taken without <laughs> authorization. Although I'm pretty sure all these chickens weren't here earlier when we looked around this place. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they weren't. Oh, okay, that just takes us there. Let's go to the um to the town then. Ah, oh, the lemonade stand. I remember this. Lemonade. Five dollars. Five cents. Cents. Um, it's got a nice mug here. Look at that. It's a mug for the lemonade. Can we? Hey, that mug's for paying customers only. Yeah, I remember this kid. The Surgeon General of Plunder Island has determined that ingredients in this product may be harmful or fatal if swallowed. Oh, good. That, that's exactly what we want, isn't it? Let's talk to this little small pirate. <laughs> Push him. <laughs> I'm bigger than him. I'm no bully. Aw, oh, come on. Let's bully him. Hello there, Sonny. You open yet? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. My first customer. Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. <laughs> it sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. I remember well, this. That sounds like a good deal. Uh, is the lemonade good? Is the lemonade good? Oh, gosh, yes. It's a very helpful drink. Even better for you than placing leeches on your tongue. 
Wow. Sounds great. Mm, what's the lemonade good for? What's the lemonade good for? It's a dandy tonic for scurvy. Ooh. It'll cure all your symptoms, including, but not limited to, gradual weakening, aching muscles, sunken eyes, painful gums, ashen skin, loss of teeth, internal bleeding, the reopening of old wounds, diarrhea, kidney failure, fainting, halitosis, and death. Quite the list. Will it cure evil pirate curses? Will it cure evil pirate curses? No, but it has a refreshing citrus flavor with no unpleasant aftertaste. No sale. Um, is this, is this like Stan's long lost child or something? <laughs> He's a pretty good salesman. All right, I'd like to buy some lemonade. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Sure, we have a bottomless mug policy, you know. Yeah, you That'll said. be a nickel. I want to know what this bottomless mug policy is all about. Ah, hilarious. Hey, there's no bottom to this mug. Give me my money back. He did say it was bottomless. I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless mug policy. You little scammer. And there are no refunds. <laughs> Why, you little. Thank you. Come again. Ah, dear Kenny. Scammed out of a nickel. Um, I seem to remember he has something to do with like upgrading the ship or something later on. Is that a thing? I've got a vague memory of that. What are these dye vats about? It's a great big vat full of red dye. Number two. Ah, oh, red dye number two. Okay. It's one of the ingredients from the thing to get to Monkey Island, isn't it? In, or is it yellow dye something in the secret Monkey Island? I can't remember. Not off the top of my head. Danger Cove. Danger Cove is apparently that sort of way. Danger, do not enter. Okay, there's a plaque here. Bush. Bush. <laughs> a pristine example of one of the many decorative bushes used for landscaping Plunder Island. All right. Oh, a chicken coop. It's a chicken coop, but I don't see any chickens. Yeah, it looks like they've all escaped. Look at these mysterious flowers over here. I vaguely remember what we have to. Strange flower. Wow. This jungle is thick. I'll need something sharp if I'm gonna hack my way through there. Oh, okay, cool. Um, can we? It's rooted in with the vine. I can't just pick it up. Okay, so we're gonna need something sharp to hack our way through that. We've basically only got a pin, so something tells me that isn't gonna work. Oh, there's a beware sign. Beware. Beware indeed. Walk, walk through speaker. What earth is that? Blonde Beard's Chicken Shop. It's the two-way speaker for the walkthrough. Oh, <laughs> like a drive-through, but it's a walkthrough. It's hilarious. Hello? I can't understand you. What was that? <laughs> accurate. Yeah, forget it. Pretty accurate. All right, so oh, we got flyer here. So it's like we can go in that way. Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp. Get your fortune told. <laughs> voodoo and things. Nice. Formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. Oh, so maybe that's like a hint that the voodoo lady's here then if you didn't... Oh, there's a mud puddle here. It's as thick as gravy. Can we... I won't be able to find anything in this mud by fishing around with my hand. Drain pipe? It's part of the complex drainage system for Blondebeard's Chicken Shop. Yeah, I seem to remember Blondebeard's Chicken Shop having like quite a complex puzzle. There's nothing inside. That took me quite a while to work out. Um, I think it's quite an infamous puzzle, actually. From what I vaguely remember a lot of you guys saying when I got to that part in the blind Let's Play that it's like an infamous tricky puzzle. Mm. Can we open this? Oh, we can. Oh, doesn't this bring us out like all the way over the other side? Yeah, okay. It's like like in on Melee Island. Where you got the door that lets you go like a little shortcut way. Alright, let's go into let's go systematically, I suppose. We'll start with Blondebeard's chicken shop. Do you have a reservation? Uh yeah, of course I have. Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. No reservation slip, huh? Then out you go. Come on. I mean, dude, give us a, give us a chance. Do you have a reservation? All right, no. Uh, no. No reservation slip, huh? Gotta make way for paying customers. <laughs> okay, fine. Screw you. 
Won't be ordering any of your chicken. Ooh. This is a nice town. I've got to say, I love the design of all this. It's, it's really fantastic. In memory of the chickens who gave their lives oh. during the Great Puerto Pollo Potluck Jamboree of 1621. <laughs> it's quite dark. Okay, so we can go through this door here. A, like, oh, this is where the spear thing is. The front door is closed. Okay. The Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts presents Spear. Yeah, we saw a flyer or something for that, didn't we? Clock tower. Good evening. At the tone, Caribbean standard time will be 7, 50, 2, and 30, 9 seconds. Beep. <laughs> yeah, this is accurate, by the way. Um, th th that's one of the cool things about this game. It actually has like a proper in-game clock that, that is accurate to the time that you're playing. So if you were wondering when I'm recording this video, exactly when Guybrush said. Can we go through here? Or is it locked? Mm, no. Oh, he, j he just literally won't do it? It's locked. Oh, it's locked, okay, <laughs> fine. All right, so we know where that door takes us to. We could go this way, although I don't know where this is going to take us. Ah, okay. Brings us here. Not sure I want to come here just yet. This is the log throwing thing, right? Where does this take us to? Let's see where all these mysterious doors lead. Ah. Um, not sure why we would want to go in there, but maybe that will become apparent later, I suppose. Let's head this way for now. Okay, so we've got we've got the barber shop here. I th oh, we can get down this way, can't we? Uh, is there anything else we can do? Yeah, we can go that way. All right, let's go into the barber shop, Barbary Coast. <laughs> Very good. But as in Barbary, is in a barber shop. The Barbary Coast. Lovely. Let's head in. Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast. Thank you. Where every haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? We prefer the term buccaneer hairstylist. Okay. Great. Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond ring? Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Never heard of it. It's a funny story, really. I need it to lift this curse that's turned my girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? Probably shouldn't tell Wait people that. Did I just share too much? Yeah. Undoubtedly. Alright, we've got a dapper pirate, a salty pirate, we've got Captain Rottingham, and we've got a barber pirate here. And there's a jar of combs as well, can we? It's a bunch of combs floating in that blue stuff. Yeah, whatever that blue stuff is. Hands off those combs! Sorry. Those are ours. I think we have to do something to the comb, don't we, from, from memory. I don't know if we'll be able to... Ah! Hands off that comb, or I'll have your bangs, you thieving dog. <laughs> yeah, we have to do something with that, but I can't actually remember what it is. And I, I think. Here's for the discerning pirate, spring edition. Seems like maybe we've got to do something to like distract these guys. I'll wait for the movie. <laughs> Very good. Okay, we've got a lot of portraits up here. There's a plaque on this portrait. It says, "Thomas Lude. Here was a dangerous man when accosted, but he looked pretty good when his hair had been frosted." <laughs> Very good. Edward Screech. When it came to rum, Edward Screech never skimped. He drank a whole bottle while he had his hair crimped. <laughs> that is a terrible... Rachel Squall. This lady, we're certain, was no debutante. She killed 20 men while she wore this buffon. <laughs> Captain Steve Grummond. He fought and he struggled. He kicked and he brawled. But when he left our shop, we made sure he was bald. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta look at all of these. Jack Rackaham. Always a dapper crook. Jack wore the layered look. <laughs> What's this parrot one? In loving memory. Aww. Crackers. Crackers. 1684 to 1685. Aww. It's only one. Another satisfied customer. 
Ah, oh, that one was quiet. Captain Charles Vane. The captain stood seven feet high in his boots. But you'd never have guessed that we dyed his roots. <laughs> I like that they took the effort to do these. Captain Richard Squawkins. There never was a more despicable knave, but we gave him an impeccable body weight. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll talk to these one, these uh, these fellows in here in the next one, but we are out of time for now. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons are Cavies Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, Joncon555, Chrissy, Paul James, and TJG66. And I'll see you next time.